I was walking down this dirt road here and I noticed a very big, I think it's a eucalyptus tree over here. Here it is. And it was so huge. It was so wise and so ancient. I thought this would be the perfect time to have a talk with this tree. Now, other people do it differently, I'm sure. But I take my right hand and I place it on the tree. And I just stand there and wait until the tree talks to me if it wishes to talk. So today, just a few minutes ago, I was waiting and the tree said in a soft, low voice that emanated from way high up above, it said, you are my child. And then I looked over this way. I could see a slight breeze and the small trees there waving in the breeze and the dappled sunlight moving about through the leaves of the small trees. And then I heard the tree say, none of my children are around me here. And I looked around and I saw there were no small eucalyptus trees like this tree anywhere around here. And those small trees that I just showed you, it seemed like they were dancing along with the thoughts of this, this ancient tree. And the tree said to me, all of these are my children now. And so, I wish this great, this ancient eucalyptus tree, very good joy, very good happiness in the day with all of its friends around it. So then I said, well, it's time for me to go. I'll say goodbye now. And as I started to lift my hand from the tree, I noticed a sparkling energy that that came from the trunk of the tree and entered my hand, almost like a handshake, saying goodbye, see you next time. And I said, should the day ever come when you should pass on, I wish to grow up a child of your own from the very spot where you fell down. And then I started walking down the other way and the tree said to me, just by way of goodbye, it said, what would grow up is the new me. That's a form of immortality that we don't consider and that we don't usually think about for humankind. But it's very common in, in older trees that should they be tossed by the tempest and dropped upon the ground, nevertheless, sprouts come up from that very place and be eventually they become the giant tree once again. And so here we have goodbye today to the ancient eucalyptus tree. God bless you all and keep you safe and be with you through all your days and may you one day have a chance to place your hand upon a tree and have the patience to wait and see what the tree may say to thee. Oh yes, my website as you may know is Awakening with Planet Earth https colon slash slash awakeningwithplanetearth.com You can go there anytime and find out more about the Davis of the tree, the great spirits the, of the archangels that guide the, the trees in their manner of blessing this planet. In love, light, and joy, this is Alice B. Claggett. I am of the stars. See you next time. <music>